Okay, a couple things happened here, uh, just things that can happen. Uh, we were working this dog, uh, Elfie, on the inner tube. And when she came for her initial attack, she didn't make it. Like that. For some, I, I think that the, the measurement was correct, but for some reason it was off, the timing was off, and she didn't make the grip. So the bungee pulled her backwards, she spun around, and the line went around her uh, front leg. And at that point, I ran in within the biting distance of the dog and gave her a bite so that the, the line wouldn't make it to the, uh, to the end and she wouldn't hurt her leg. Now, <clears throat> once the dog was biting, I looked back and realized that she was holding up her back foot, which immediately made, makes me worry because of, you know, ligaments, ACLs, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the dog seems to be walking pretty much normally now, but whenever we're dealing with a dog, and any, she obviously did something. So she tweaked herself, and even though right now I'm looking at her, she's normal, I still would not work this dog right now. Under any circumstances, I would move her around. I would uh, really investigate that leg and keep a really close eye on it. Maybe later on I would find some ice and eat. Because like I said, she did something that is obvious. What she did, we don't know. And although she looks normal now, she did do something. So just things to think about. You know, like I said, safety on the dog and safety on the decoy. And when the dog does get hurt, even in a situation like this, where they seemingly are not hurt, they're moving normally, they still will not go back to work. Because, you know, dogs don't tell us when they're hurt. They're very good at masking their pain. So that is what just transpired here.